this isn't good. I found out why my car's been stinking. Oh god, it stinks bad too. So, I don't know what's going on here. So I was supposed to go into town to pay the bills for Don, I can't do that. I was supposed to go meet Ma and Dad in Millersburg to pick up fanny packs for Dan and Don so that they can use them at work, I can't do that. I just had to call Ma and Dad and call that off. I've noticed this weird smell for the last few days and I didn't know where it was coming from. But now that the back seat is off, I see exactly where it's coming from and I don't know what's going on. Don left his cell phone here at home, even if he wouldn't have, he couldn't have come to do anything about it, so I gotta wait till he gets home from work and tell him. But that's a real good morning for me, isn't it? So Tug and I are gonna go for a walk, and me, the genius that I am, I brought the camera, but left the SD card behind, so that helps a lot. But, ugh, Tug's pulling me all over the place. I've been wanting to take him for a walk for a while, and I haven't yet, so this will be good for him. Tug? You having fun, Tug? Pulling me all over the place? You're a big dog. Come on. Now we're walking on the power line two-track thing to go to the house from the backside. Tug's like in his walk, except once in a while he yanks me around, and but he's not too bad about it now. So it was chilly this morning, but now it's starting to warm up, which is nice. One thing I haven't vlogged yet are these boats in the yard here. One is Dan's and one is Don's. Don't ask me which one, but if I would have to take a guess, I'd probably say this little one is Don's, and the big one is Dan's, but I could be completely wrong, and he'll probably laugh at me when he watches this footage. But, yeah. So we had a good walk, and now we're home. Try to, time to find something else to do all day here alone. I mean, not really alone. I've got Tug with me. I don't know where Tiger is. She's been gone since yesterday, but she'll probably show up when she wants her food. So the plastic latch broke on Tug's collar, and I was sitting at the table doing stuff on the computer, and I see him all the way over at the neighbor's house. All the way, well you can't see it, but all the way over there. So my cousin Amy said to use a belt, so I'm giving that a try. If I see him all the way over there again, then it doesn't work. But when I go to work, I'll get him another collar, but I am not buying another cheap plastic latch thing because that's a bunch of garbage. All I have wanted to eat all day is cereal. This is my third bowl of cereal since I got up at 8.45 this morning. And it's now 2 p.m. I don't know, this is all I feel like eating. But I am going to make dinner later. Um, I'm thinking about cooking up a p couple pieces of chicken and then cutting them all up and putting them in mashed potatoes with corn, mixing it all up. I think Don will like that. I just sat here and updated our Tumblr because I haven't been putting our videos on there since day 65, which was stupid because the point of the Tumblr is to spread our videos. So I have to make sure I don't let myself fall behind like that again. I'm going to write Miss Kimmy a letter. She's She was the librarian that I was an assistant for for two years in high school at the Onaway High School. And we've been writing letters back and forth since 1993. You know, just normal snail mail letters, so that's kind of cool. Tug is outside. I put my belt around his neck and it's working, so he won't. I won't see him over at the neighbor's. He was all the way over there walking around by the truck and the car. And I saw him and I'm like, that's my dog, what the hell's going on? So I had to go get him. I'll do, do, do the dishes later. It's weird to be all alone after
being with Don every day since the beginning of December, but it'll be okay. And the weather's good again, so that's good. I'm just trying to keep busy and find things to do. This is day one of two days off, but I'm just so happy that the weather's good. It's about time because winter just did not want to let go. But this is Michigan, so I certainly hope winter doesn't come back. My dad posted on Facebook and said they got their first hummingbird at the feeder. So I tried to put ours out today and I found out we're out of sugar. So I can't make the sugar water. So I have to wait on that. And of course I can't go to the store and go get some more sugar because if I do, my back seat will start on fire. Uh, some of you might not know that the battery for Buick LeSabres is under the back seat. So I would be stupid to drive it when it's smoking like that. And then all of a sudden there's a fire behind me as I'm going down the road. So I refuse to start the car until Don can come home and look at it and we can figure out what's going on. So it's 5.20 and I'm just sitting outside. I folded up the laundry and put it all away. I did the dishes. I'm bored now. I just watched CTFXE and I'll watch Danny Duncan in a minute here. I have no idea when Don will get home. He, I don't know if he forgot his phone or if he didn't take it because it was dead, but it was on the charger on the counter. So there's no way to get a hold of him. I'm not going to keep bugging Dan, texting Dan. I feel like that's rude. And here's Tog with Bedhead. He was just sleeping under the porch and then he came up here. Aww. But yeah, he's probably bored too. Even though his favorite hobby seems to be sleeping. So Don's home and he's going to tell you what was going on with my car. Battery's junk. Well, what was going on is that the one of the cells completely died in the battery finally. And that's why we always had to hook it up to the battery charger all the time over the winter. But it's from having the battery charger hooked up to it and causing the battery to get so hot that it was causing the acid inside to get really hot and to put off uh, vapors. So it wasn't was smoke? Steam. No, it wasn't smoke. It was just putting off vapors from it being so hot and the sides of it were, was the battery was bulged grayed out. Yeah, so what did you and Dan do to fix it? <laughs> put a different battery in it for now. Yes. It's one of Dan's batteries that he keeps in the back of the truck for in case the ditch witch decides to act up with the battery and then we've got another battery to put in it. Yeah. So Dan's letting us use that one until we get another battery. Yeah. So the car works again and I'm thankful to Dan for his help and I'm thankful for Don to Don for his help and Tug keeps scratching my leg which hurts. Yeah like that and when you got shorts on that hurts. Feels good don't it Tug? Yeah. Feels good don't it buddy? Yeah? That's what he thinks. That's what I know. Yeah. Feeling me up, Tug? <laughs> don't worry, I don't swing that way. <laughs> but it's already pretty late, so we're going to go ahead and say goodnight. And we hope that you enjoyed the video, and that you like, subscribe, comment, share. And that you're having a good day. <sighs> Good night, everybody. Enjoy your evening. Pick and only flick your boogers at somebody. Don't drop soap in jail. <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of birds don't fly? Jailbirds. <laughs> All right, bye. Good morning. No. Yeah.